And now, in studio, bringing his Midwest values from the show me state to the land of San Diego. He's a triple threat, licensed as an attorney, mortgage broker, and a top producing realtor who's crushing the competition. Here to deliver you what's happening in the trenches of the market, your host, Michael Gaddis. Welcome back to the Michael Gaddis Show on AM 1170, The Answer. I am your host, Michael Gaddis of FrontierLoanGroup.com, and we're continuing our discussion with Leslie Hoffman of PowwaySeniorCenter.org. That's the website, PowwaySeniorCenter.org. Uh, Leslie, you know, one of the things I want to talk to you about is, you know, what, I have a very soft spot in my heart for, for senior, our senior community. And it's not just because I do reverse mortgages. One of the main way, one of the things, that the reasons I have such a soft spot in my my uh, my heart for seniors, is because I grew up living with my grandparents. My father was a Vietnam veteran, and he had some issues, and he left our family, and we were kind of left with nothing. So we had to move in with my my uh, grandparents, who you know they weren't prepared. They were willing, but not necessarily financially prepared to necessarily have us move in there. But you know, over I lived with them for I think five or six years, and during that time I became very um, knowledgeable about their ways of life and what they like to listen to for music, what they like to watch on TV. You know, I, I was when I was younger I was probably one of the only people who had watched the Andy Hardy movies and Johnny Weissmuller Tarzan and all of these shows that most people don't remember. I do because I was exposed to them. So I always say that I have an old soul. So, but I watched my grandparents struggle, and I knew that that uh, this was not necessarily how they anticipated their their retirement in later years to be but I always have appreciated what they put them what they what they did for us because they did sacrifice a lot to have us live in their house with them and so that's my personal one of my personal reasons why that you know of uh, having senior centers and and people come on to talk about how you know seniors might be able to be helped because you know it's just it's people don't really realize what it means to be a senior and I think that don't they don't appreciate the fact that there are so many seniors and whether they're widows or widowers are there a couple that are living there that really don't they're almost alone and they don't have a lot going on and I, I hate to say this it's kind of like Kathleen because one of the things I told Kathleen was as we her, her and I relationship got you know further on and I noticed that she was more and more depressed I told her I said Kathleen I'm not gonna sit here and let you wait to die what I'm going to do is make you realize that you have a new chapter in your life. There's a whole new, you have a lot of life left, Kathleen. And the last thing that you're, I want you to do is be sitting in this house, you know, and letting the house rot around you and just sitting here waiting for, you know, the, you know, the, the, your, your life to pass away. You can do so much. And that's why senior centers like you uh, are so important. And I think that all of our listeners, all of you guys out there should realize and not just take, take, you know, say, oh, well, you know, seniors, that you know, they, they're fine. They are on retirement, things like that. That's not necessarily true. They need love and attention just as much as anybody else. And I think that's one of the things that, that like Poway Senior Center offers its seniors. It offers them hope. It offers them a, a way to get out of the regular monotony of life. It allows them a place to, to interact with others, other seniors, and become friends and, and, and do things that we all take for granted. And I want to thank you, Leslie, for, you know, for, you know, doing what you do. I mean, um, you know, running an organization like this on a limited budget can be very challenging and, and, and tough. And so it, it is an important thing, and I think everyone should, uh, should do that. Now, before the break, we were talking about your event. Um, and uh, you want to reiterate what that event is? Oh, absolutely. Before I go there, though, I want to share um, my own personal story, as you've talked about talking with, uh, living with your grandparents and such. Um, about 18 months ago, my mother moved in with me, and she's a senior, she's in her mid-80s, and um, so I'm in that, my kids finally left, and suddenly I thought I'd have a little freedom, and I don't, because now my mother's with me, but that's, um, I, I, need, I need to take care of my mother. You know, she's almost fully blind and very, almost deaf, and, and so she's just part of my life. And there's so many seniors that don't have the benefit of somebody in their family, as you were saying, to to bring them in, and um, sometimes it's well, 
people and other, but really it's a benefit. It's a benefit that she has a home and um, I'm grateful that I'm offered, I'm able to offer that home. Um, and this is what this benefit that is being put on does. Um, it helps us at the Senior Center to be able to put on these programs to keep us running and going. There are so many people that just don't understand that we need donations. We are a nonprofit, and without donations, we don't exist. And without donations, we can't provide nutrition programs. We can't provide activities. We can't, we can't exist. And so we're having a really cool event. It's our first one. It's called Pets in the Park at Old Poway Park, and it's being built around bringing your pet, have pictures, have races, have dog costume contests, just bring your pet to the park and have a really good day and have fun. Uh, the nice thing is the farmer's market is actually the same day in Poway. They have their farmer's market every Saturday. Um, we're going to have food. We're going to be cooking hot dogs. I'm not sure how that <laughs> works with that, but the senior center is cooking hot dogs. Um, but um, it's just a place to come and enjoy and spend a spring day. What, what day is it now? It's March 18th. March 18th. If I get my days right, that should be a Saturday, March 18th. Um, and uh, it, there's going to be just, uh, there's going to be vendors uh, for pet items. And it's just a chance to take your pet to the park and hang out and have some food and relax and enjoy yourself. And in the meantime, donate put in for bids. Obviously we're looking for sponsors so that there's no cost to the senior center and the sponsors are actually what pay the cost of the event and uh, we just want you to have fun and we want you to meet our seniors and, and um, enjoy them. You know we have uh, one of our seniors who um, unfortunately does not come here anymore but she's one of my favorites because at some point a senior gets to the point where they can't come to the activities and they just move on to a different um, activity center that has more hands-on whereas we're much a hands-off activity center we just want you to come have fun her name's little marie well that's what we always call her is little marie and she's upper 90s and she lives around the block and she would walk to the senior center every day and she was almost fully blind and she'd wear her little mittens and she'd come in and she'd wear her blue jeans with her um, sparkles in it and she'd shake her booty at you and show you how cute she looked and, and she couldn't see you very well but she would touch you and hold you and just tell you, oh, you feel so nice and you feel so wonderful but you know, little Marie brought herself there every single day and cold, heat, it didn't matter and she just loved being and that's what I love about it, the fact that Little Marie came every day on her own. We had another one, our bistro is named after a woman named Ida, who had her 100th birthday at the Senior Center. And the mayor came, I, I, the whole, it was a big, we put on a big old shindig for her, because good Lord, she was 100, right? right? right. And, um, and that's what we just, we just try to celebrate. We celebrate every moment, we celebrate our, our veterans, we celebrate our homemakers. Um, we celebrate the, wolf, the working woman and the retired man. We, we, we celebrate and that's, that's what this event is about, is to help us fundraise to create that celebration and move it forward as well. So we're, we're just, you're listening to the Michael Gatta Show on AM 1170 The Radio, uh, AM 170 The Answer. Uh, we're speaking to Leslie Hoffman of the PowaySeniorCenter.org. She was telling us about pets in the park. Um, in Poway Park on March 18th. Um, after the break, I want to have you, if you don't mind, can you come back for one more segment? Sure. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about donations and how, you know, what, what we can do to help your senior center, you know, grow. So after the break, we'll, we'll continue our conversation with Leslie Hoffman at PowaySeniorCenter.org. You're listening to The Michael Gatta Show on AM 1170, The Answer.